That what gentleman I- that you see right there is Chick Hernandez, CBSSports.com, on X at Mr. Chick Sports. I feel <laughs> dirty every time I say that. What is uh, X? I, it's it's the new it's the new Twitter. It's the old oh, Twitter. Oh yeah, it's the old Twitter. Right. It's X. Yeah, I don't even I don't even think that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I don't know. I have too many uh, too many hours to kill each week. I've been X rated. I've been X rated before. I, when I do stand up comedy, I'm X rated, but still. You are a funny man. You always have been. Uh, so you're also doing Washington Commandos. Commanders. Commanders. Commandos preseason. Commanders. Don't get me. Don't I get have me. never said that. I have never All called right. them that. I never will call them that. Although uh, they do have new ownership, so let, let, let let's get into a couple of things first about that. Okay. Um, what has been? I mean, we know we know that they've needed a culture change uh, for obvious reasons. Mm-hmm. What has Josh Harris and his crew meant? Is it is it noticeable the difference around the team, uh, or is it just noticeable around the fans? It is noticeable everywhere, Adam everywhere um i wasn't expecting it um i think you know as we got closer to that july 24th sale uh in which uh dan snyder see that's the, that's Who? the name i don't want to say you don't want to say you don't want to say commanders i don't want to say snyder yeah um that's why i say commandos yeah well i can't because i call their game so <laughs> it would be it would be weird um and i believe me growing up in this area i did slip once and went the washington R- uh, commanders yep. i did do it I I'm did sure. do it. Um, I called them burgundy and gold for the first quarter on purpose, and people on Twitter were irate, thinking that I was doing it because I couldn't, I wasn't allowed to say commanders, which was idiotic. Yeah. Twitter muscles are great. Anyway, uh, <laughs> the new ownership group. Uh, I can't express to you uh, the change, uh, the feeling. Um, when we walked out the first day of training camp, it wasn't because of the Harris group, or maybe it was, they won't say, but there were now stands you know, built professional mm-hmm. looking stands built uh, when 23 years, there was nothing other right. than when they were in Richmond. Um, it, it, I mean, it just, it just the, the, the facility in Ashburn, Virginia looks different. Uh, the vibe is completely different. Um, I was, when I was going to sign my deal to call their games, I'm in the building and this guy grabs my elbow and goes, how you doing? And I turn around and it's one of the limited partners, Mitchell rails who, okay. Who uh, gave birth to the, the 980, the big uh, radio station here? Um, and I said, "What's up, Mitch?" And like people turned and looked, and he just, they said, "The chick just call Mr. Rails, Mitch." <laughs> and I and I kind of leaned into the Mitch and said, uh, "Is it okay?" He goes, "You know me, right?" Uh, yeah, you're right. Cool. <laughs> so that that's what they are: uh, Mitchell Rails, Mark Ein, who does runs the, the Washington Castles, the professional tennis team. I mean, and and of course, and there's 20 limited partners, right? And, if 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 and when Magic Johnson shows up, either at a game or at practice, Fine. you know all hell is going to break loose <laughs> because he's already talked to the people that are behind the scenes with the Commanders and right. told them that each and every one of them, and it's like a coach speak, but when it's coming from Magic and you can tell it's coming from the heart, he was telling them that when it, you what you do daily makes a huge difference to what we do ultimately down the road, um, and you could see them listening to that intently, and then Josh Harris who is just as down to earth from Chevy Chase, Maryland. Mm-hmm. Um, we met at the uh, tr- at the training camp. And then the other night after the Browns game, I'm leaving. Me and uh, Brian Mitchell, B. Mitch, we're leaving. And I look and there's uh, Josh Harris. And he turns and looks at me and he reaches his hand out. And we start talking. Um, he's supposed to be doing a live interview for a local TV station. And we're discussing the difference in – he sat with the fans game one. He sat he really? in the stands. Yeah. In the stands, taking pictures, signing autographs, and I said on the air, I don't think you'd ever see that from the prior ownership. Which mm. I, well, not, not that you, I don't <laughs> think that. I know that that wouldn't take place. No, he's a normal human. That's it's it. Ama- it's uh, amazing so, stuff. Yeah, so it's it's it is flipped completely. Does it equate to wins? Somebody said, well, yeah, it will eventually. Okay, but all I know is that you just had a better feeling, and the fans are flocking back to come to FedEx Field, which is not the greatest stadium in the world. But no. now they feel like that Dan's not putting his hand in their pockets and just pillaging all the money out because they're going to change some things. Yeah, it's funny. Um, for years and years and years and years and years, there's always been that waiting list for season tickets and all of that. And you, and they were among the lowest attendance teams 
in the NFL. It's a heritage franchise. It's still yeah. obviously worth a lot. Uh, the other yeah. guy, the old guy, sold it for six point oh five billion dollars. So Ridiculous. it still has an incredible. You mean, the UK, value. you mean the UK resident, the guy who lives in the UK? <laughs> oh, does he live there now? Oh, he, dude, he, he <laughs> took off. He took off, and well, he's, he's going to buy an EPL squad and uh, side in a. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, maybe no, not. he no, no, he can't own another franchise. I'm going to tell you right now. There's no chance that any league says, "Hey, no. good idea." No, not <laughs> yeah, happening. I 100 percent agree. Let me ask you about the quarterback. By the way, a uh, whole bunch of ACC guys. Right, all over the place. All your quarterbacks yes. are ACC quarterbacks. Sam yep. Howell, Jacoby Brissett, Jake Fromm. Yep. Uh, yep. So uh, let me ask Chick Hernandez, uh, who does preseason games for the Washington Commanders. You're the yes. first. You're the first. That's uh, it. We have, so if, we, one. if we have time before we get out of here, we'll discuss whether or not that will stay the name or not. Uh, okay. But what is uh, what are your thoughts on Sam Howell? This is year two. He only played one game, the last game of year one. Yeah. What do you think yeah. about him? Uh, I think uh, a lot of, as they say, room for improvement. Uh, but what I saw the other night is exactly what Eric Bieniemy, the new offensive coordinator and assistant coach, wanted to see, which was uh, consistency and good decision making. Mm-hmm. And he made two throws the other night that were not completions. But they were really good decisions because he threw them out of bounds when all hell was breaking loose, and he did it in the most appropriate way. And I've seen in camp, early in camp, where he tried to force a ball. The other night, I did not see that. And he, and he threw some freaking darts. Yep. Uh, so he's got a lot of weapons. And as, as I say, uh, the most uh, lethal weapon might be the enemy because he's running that offense, and he's got a lot of weapons in the wide receiver core. He's got backs you can catch and run. Um, so Sam's got a lot – you know, in front of him. The unfortunate part is he's also got a line that looks like <laughs> my line at Montgomery Blair High School. Um, people used to ask me at five six, how can you be quarterback? I said, I mean, my line gets blown up. There's a lot of I got I got division completely. So <laughs> that's a major question mark for them is whether or not they can shore up that offensive line um, and protect him. And you've got to protect him. But from what I've seen so far, like you said, one game last year. You know, the, the pressure is on. Um, he's certainly a serviceable quarterback. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think I think in this offense, um, which to a man, when every player said they saw the playbook the first time, I mean, J- Jahan Dotson said, he just looked at me. When I said, you know, what did you see when you first saw it? He goes, holy, can I curse on here? Not yet. Um, he just, okay. He <laughs> said, holy crap. Um, this is, you know, he just knew that there were going to be opportunities for everybody. There were enough balls to go around. Um, and it's all designed on getting someone open. I'll give you a short in practice. Uh, and the enemy is known for being very vocal, mm-hmm. uh, right? And Jahan is running a route on the backside of a play. There's a red line that goes down on the practice field that's there for a purpose because it's all about positioning. And Jahan went wide of it. And the ball is going left, but he is already on Jahan going, hold your water, hold your water. And when they come back, he explains to him, if you're not two yards inside, then that safety still, you know, the, the safety has to look at you. Right. If you're two yards outside, that safety ain't worried about you. And he's already going to where the ball's going. So you need to make sure that you run that route where it's supposed to be so that the backside and Terry McLaurin's got a deep blah, blah, blah. And John hit his helmet like, you know, you're right, you're right, you're right. And so there's a lot of teaching going on. Let me ask so, Chick Hernandez, who does uh, Washington Commandos. I'm sorry, Washington Commanders preseason no, I get game. I the game in Commando. <laughs> it's, a, it's TV, See, but they don't show you behind below the waist. It's here's okay. the thing: we know too much about each other. I actually yes. just believed that. So <laughs> here's the because um, you mentioned Eric Bieniemy a couple of times. We don't have to go back too far, too many days to find not to the fault of Bieniemy. I think really a, a mistake by head coach Ron Rivera by not being more assertive in his defense of his offensive coordinator, assistant head coach. Um, you know, how is that going? Because they were apparently, maybe it's too complicated. Maybe he works them too hard. Uh, this is professional football. I think you yes, should expect that. Uh, you, you how would. is that going now? Two things. One, I had a chance to talk with uh, head coach Ron Rivera uh, like a day later. Uh, we had, we had in our pre-production meeting for the broadcast and we was only us two in the room when everybody else left. And I said, Hey, by the way, 
that whole that whole thing. And he looked up. He's like, I mean, the headlines were ridiculous. I said to him, you could have said nothing or you could have said what you said or said what you said differently. But when this day and age of social media doesn't matter because it's all going to run rampant. Yes. A couple of players, uh, not only young players, but some veterans bristled at the way that and this is not even in training camp. This is OTAs and stuff. Mm-hmm. This is this is the way that the enemy works. I think the mistake uh, that Ron Rivera made was comparing him to Jack Del Rio, who'd been a head coach and kind of changed his ways. And so the comparison was like, hey, now wait a second, well, why are you doing that? For a guy in Eric Bieniemy who's been trying to get a head coaching job, now you've kind of put out there that, that there's this, you know, this this cloud, which there wasn't. Um, the players got it. I mean, as soon as uh, what I liked about Ron Rivera said was, don't talk to me, talk to him <laughs> and, and clear the air which they did, and that's why they are practicing the, the way they're practicing. They're in Baltimore this week, and by all accounts, the practices, they've come out uh, you mm-hmm. know, very crisp and strong um, against the very physical Baltimore squad, even though it's a practice, and they're going to play against each other on Monday night. So I, I think it wasn't much to do about nothing, but Ron certainly realized I, the, you know, that it was a, wasn't the best uh, way to go about it. Um, if I was counseling him, I would not have had him – read a, an apology or a statement <laughs> the next day i would have just said you know you said it from the heart day one right come back with the heart and say look i i screwed up you know and this is what i meant and i don't care if my guys are upset with the way eric manby coaches because last time i check you can check his resume and it's pretty darn good that's what he should have said right off the bat he goes what are we Correct. complaining about i mean yeah. there's a re- there, he is here for a reason to make us right. better uh, Ron, maybe trying to protect his players. Like I said this yesterday or the other day, Monday, maybe two things he did. He either called his players dumb or not willing to work. And neither of those is good. Right. And right. so anyway, uh, yep. I'm, yep. uh, I'm looking forward to preseason. We shouldn't even call it preseason chick season. Wait a yeah. second. Uh, they used to play six preseason games. I know. Back in the day. That's, we were growing up. That's six too many. Uh, Chick Hernandez, <laughs> he's doing preseason games for the Washington Commanders. Uh, also CBS Sports play-by-play as well. Uh, man, I'll talk to you very soon. I appreciate your time. Good Absolutely. health. All right? Thank and, you, sir. Uh, hit him straight. I will try. And Oh, it's a it's different hat. Sorry. I, <laughs> I thought I was wearing another hat. But no, one, no, one, no one cares what you score that was the hat it's oh great, that is true i will yeah. i will tell people all what langston is uh after the break thank awesome. you very much sir Bye, man